Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child! Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, returning to do Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. You come across strangers in Red Dead Redemption 2, and they have some various quests, whether one or two or three or multiple parts. In this case, if you're in Valentine at some point, and you meet Proitus and Acrisis, I'm not sure if I pronounced their names correctly, they're twin brothers trying to win the affections of a woman named Helen. And they do dumber and dumber things in that quest for her love. Well, it's three parts, and they're all called Old Brother. And I'm going to put all the parts in this video, including the final part, which the brothers, I think, realize they've been played. But I digress. So let's get on with part one of Old Brother. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Please, put us out of our misery. Now is a good shot, sir. I didn't bat an eye. What are you fools doing? Try not to you got it. <laughs> <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, these boys are so silly. Ready? To fear at all. Come on. Now aim that. Yes. <sighs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir. And this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Ellen. Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. I'm ready. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brains, if you please. At least. Why? I must be the bravest man I know. Excellent. Whew. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering you? Uh, you two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Too much, too much. Nope, my sweet.
And that is part one. If you had shot the brothers, you would have failed the mission. So let's get on with part two. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the name. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh. Come on. Fine. Come on! Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin! Not Good. like that toe rag. Good lord above! Doesn't hurt. Hey, hey give hit me, me again. again! Right here! Right here! Ooh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once! Give me your worst! Here I stand! Take four, then. Put me in the man hood. Don't worry, sir. Miner made a st oh! <laughs> ah! They've come out his ears. <laughs> My turn. <sighs> come on, right there. <laughs> Gentlemen. Uh, yes, uh, I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. And he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? <laughs> yeah, even Mr. Morgan is feeling these two guys are kind of silly and stupid. And it's humorous, but you see, they're in love with this woman, and they want to try and impress her, but he likes to beat them up a little bit. He does have some concern for them. Here they are, walking by, and they'll head into the hotel, but I digress. Let's get on with part three of Old Brother. Just as a preface, you find the two idiots and Helen out in the middle of the woods by a river, and they're about to do something really, really stupid. You are a fool and a nuisance, brother. Helen, is this creepy little toad bothering you again? Shall I throw him off? This is getting quite out of hand. Hands? Oh, he doesn't have hands. He's a troll. And that's why we found him here. He escaped from his... Would you tell your talking monkey to go home, please, Helen? He was amusing at first, but now he's really quite tiring. Oh, Arthur, how are you? Never better. See, you two haven't changed much. No, he's still a lizard. Coward, gerbil. Mommy's boy. Vanity. Effluent discharge. Milk. Sop. You already said that! Uh, I did not. <laughs> You're a milk sop. Well, you are all chatter and no testes, dear brother. Helen, I will make you love me if it is the last thing I do. And to prove how suitable I am to make a happy and stable life with, I shall throw myself over the waterfall in just a barrel. And so shall I. 
just to demonstrate how little your feeble gestures mean, you homunculus. Arthur, please come do the honors and make sure we, um... Oh, you silly little tapeworm of a man. Follow me. Follow you? I was born first. Tell I love you. And brother, you're living proof of God's remarkable sense of humor. Let's go try and find them. Now, as Mr. Morgan rides with Helen to try and find the two brothers, he kind of asks her some questions about whether or not, you know, she's been kind of toying with them, playing with them, because she finds their buffoonery um, interesting. And she sort of says, yeah, you know, it's... You know, she really doesn't love either of them, in a sense. She has a favorite, maybe, but in reality, she's just enjoying what these idiots are doing. Well, maybe fate might help you out. It is not like that, mister. Not like that at all. Sure. Right. Dear brother, what fools we've been. You're the fool, but a brave one. You might be dense, but you are the noblest man I know. You are a lion. Giant. You are an earth shaker. World conqueror. Let's Ow. not let anything come between us again. Never. Boys? Uh, I, Good lady, adieu. Bewitch, some other milk sops, we will have none of it. But I, I thought Let, that... Before this siren calls us to the rocks again, let us away from here. You lead the way, brother. The West awaits. Boys! Boys! <sighs> There's quite some suitors you picked there. I was trying to stop them from killing themselves. They won't last a week without no, me. Probably not. But you'll have an easier time. I guess I will. So long. Oh, I wasn't trying to lead him on, you know. It was just exciting. The smartest man I knew, with positively the least sense. <laughs> yeah, that's usually the way it works. Good luck. And there you have it. Mission complete. Oh, brother. Yeah, these two guys were being played, and she kind of admitted that she was playing them. I mean, she trying to save their life, blah, blah, blah. But that is it. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you found this video interesting, enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave a comment. And if you like these types of videos, I post four videos a week related to video games. And if you don't want to miss out, hit the subscribe button and bell icon, and you will be informed when I post videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.
Thank you.